Hi. Tops 2006 with real vintage cards inside. Maybe, no, definitely three vintage cards. They're probably shitty 80s cards. Actually, I can see, well, I don't want to give it away, but I said this on the last one I did, but you can see uh, the back of one of the cards, and I know from my 80s tops collecting. Oh, here comes Danzig. He's like, I want that Halloween candy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't ask me what this red thing is. It's just how I rigged this up in a weird way. Danzig's like, oh my God, what are you doing? He's like, why are you doing this to this red thing? <laughs> Classic Danzig. All right, here we go. Watch out, Danzig. We're opening cards. Oh, he, you know what he loves? He loves the plastic. Check this out. This this video should be called Danzig Eating Baseball Card Plastic. Check it out. Look, Danzig, you're fit. Classic Danzig. Classic cat, not doing the thing that they always do when you want them to do it. Anyway, the point is he loves to chew on plastic. All our cats do, I don't know why. They just sit there biting it. They're like biting the, the side of the garbage bag. Like they think it's food. Alright, here we go. I'm gonna try not to knock over my setup. Such excitement. Come on, Basimatic. Alright. Alright, segment number one. Christian Guzman. Oh man, I got a weird glare issue. It's fine. It's fine. Justin Morley. Garrett Anderson. Another one of these Mickey Mantle cards. I think it's the same one I got in the last pack. I think a lot of these cards are the same one I got in the last pack. Here's your vintage. Danny Jackson. 89 tops. Right? Yeah, 88 NL liters from 89 tops. All right, that's like an uninspiring card for vintage action. Back to 2006 style, Adam Dunn. Okay, I had 40 home runs like several years in a row. And when I say 40, I don't mean the baseball way of 40 or more. I mean like he hit exactly 40 several years in a row. Go check that out. Next time you get a chance. And not Rayal Cormier, Lance Cormier. All right. Second segment, we got a super exciting checklist inside. Oh, man. I bundled this from the start. Uh, now part of the problem is my setup where <laughs> I got this red vase. I'm trying to avoid knocking it over and therefore knocking the camera over. Alright. Just ignore me. You can just mute this if you want. Alright, here we go. Armando Benitez. Yeah, a lot of these cards are the exact same ones from the other pack. Like somebody was selling like near duplicate packs. Alright. Armando, line drive. Caught by Benitez. We got a Philly. Randy Wolf. Yeah, we've done this before. These are like the same as the other pack. Oh, Tony Graffanino, not the same as the other pack, though. God, I haven't thought of that guy in a while. Graffa motherfucking Nino. Wow, I can't even, like, think of a funny story about him right now, but I... <laughs> I'm sure I have some unfunny ones. Okay. Uh, oh, there's your vintage. Check it out. Jack Fimple. Wow, I believe that's George Foster next to him. Check out the burns. Wow. 84 tops. Fimple. You know, I know my 80s players. I know my, like, early 80s players, too. And, like, and I've looked at <laughs> way too many baseball cards, but I honestly, I feel like they just made this card up now. Because I've never seen this card in my life. I even have the top baseball card book from, like, 1985 where they have every single card. And this is just, like... Wow, Fimple. 
Check out that milk mustache on the Fimpster. And this was the blue back, like I remembered. I could see the edge of a blue card. I knew that was what it was. Played at Batavia, Auburn, Waterloo, Vero Beach, Albuquerque, and then joined the Dodgers for an unmemorable stay, unless you're a Dodger fan. If you're a Dodger fan, see, here's the thing. I'm like a big Red Sox fan, and I'm sure, I, like, you know, well, I've watched YouTube videos where people are like, Rick Miller, I've never heard of him. So there's Dodger fans out there, and they're like, you fucking asshole. I remember the, I made up, made up a big sign for the Fimpmeister back in 84, but anyway. So I apologize to, like, diehard Dodger fans. But, uh, you think that's George Foster? I think it's, it's definitely Shea, and that's a Met. And the Burns tell me it's George Foster. I might have been at that game. We went to a lot of games at Shea growing up because my dad was like, if the, when the Mets win, Steinbrenner gets pissed. So we're Mets fans when it comes to the National League. And it was like, you know, an hour away. So I spent many nights in those orange seats. Fimp. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Manny. Here's a much better hitter than Jack Fimple right here for you. All right, Manny. I always loved Manny. Jeff Blum of the White Sox. <laughs> of the Padres. But wearing a White Sox uniform. Man, they, didn't, they weren't painting uniforms on in 06. Like they were in my day. There's a Cub, Ryan Dempster. I was a Dempster, well... I almost said I was a Dempster fan. I, well, I liked I liked when Dempster, like, that little dust-up he had with A-Rod. I was down with him then, that day, for sure. Even though some Sox fans weren't, but... Um, yeah, and the other day at the World Series at Wrigley, I, as I'm recording this, it's like the night of Game 7. Game 7, Indians-Cubs is about to start. So whatever happened in that game, the me of right now, like, doesn't even know. I don't even know which fake curse is broken right now. One of them is, by the time you watch this, most likely. Um, so yeah, I saw Dempster there, and I was like, I think he was like throwing out the first ball or something, and I was like, wow, they brought out the Demp man for a huge Cubs game. Like, I, I guess I didn't realize, like, what a Cub fan favorite he was. And he was on them for a long time. But yeah, I liked him when he was on the Red Sox, and he had a... He had that cut on his knee. I think that was him. He had a cut right there. And it looked like the freaking Muppet. Like it was like a little mouth on his knee. Look at that. He played a long time with the Marlins and Reds before the Cubs. And then he gave the Cubs like almost a solid decade. Or more, I think. Yeah. Like 04 to 12, I think. All right. Demp and the checklist. And we got one more segment. If I don't knock this camera over. Here we go. Humberto Quintero. We've done this before, people. We saw him in another pack. Bobby Madrich. We saw him. Now I think it becomes different. BJ Ryan. Better than H.J. Ryan. Depending on your preferences, I guess. It could be the same or better. Yeah. Don't discount the H.J. Most right-thinking people know that. B.J. Ryan. Okay, why am I pausing so long on B.J. Ryan? Here's um, the Declaration of End of Motherfucking Pendants. Benjamin Rush. Man, I get a Declaration of Independence card, and it's like one of the founding fathers that like I've never even heard of. Benji Rush. Can we get some more info on him, please? Oh, I'm going to move that away so you don't give away the next uh, vintage card. Oh, it's like a puzzle. I don't even see John Hancock on here. God damn it. Benjamin Rush. I'll have to look him up. I wonder if he knows Getty Lee. All right, there we go. The final vintage card. Scott Bankhead, 88 tops. <laughs> A 
Wow, you heard... Wow. Danzig is singing a song, man. Alright, I gotta go check that out. Danzig. Focus. <laughs> Not focusing at all. Hey, Danzig. Danzig, there's like two cards left. I'm trying to finish this up here. We got... <coughs> Melvin Mora. <coughs> if you get that reference, you're awesome. Team stars. Miguel Tejada. Miguel Tejada and Melvin Mora. Alright. And I'll put that down on this random stack here because I'm in a new place now. And finally, Luis Gonzalez. Not that Luis Gonzalez. And then the stupid tops class of 84 or whatever. I just made that up. It's class of some crap. This is other Luis Gonzalez. Alright. That's it, Danzig. <laughs> what else you got to say? What else you got to say, Danzig? Anything? He's curious about the sink sometimes, but he never actually drink. You can lead him to water, but anyway. Oh, I like when they do this. I like when they go up on the window. Yeah, put your front feet up on the window. Come on, do it. <sighs> All right, I think that's it. Oh, he like here's another cat. Check it out, Alice. All right. 